Hi, my name is uh, Joey Hilty. I'm the owner of The Vandal. Um, today, I'm gonna to be making you guys a schnitzel sandwich with a whole bunch of different stuff on it. You know, it's something I'd make like on a day off or like when I have the very little free time that I have. Our ingredients for today include pickled eggs that are uh, pickled in a smoked paprika brine. We roasted some uh, carmine peppers, just basically over fire, just until uh, the skins turn black. We peel the skins off and what you have left is just like a really, really spicy red pepper. We have mixed greens from Who Cooks For You Farm. We have a, a brioche bun from Mediterra Bakery. Uh, we have some white onion. Um, another thing with the white onion is, I like eating it raw. However, uh, it can be very uh, like sulfurous and, and very like kind of make you cry. So what we do is we shred the, the onion first and then we actually place it in boiling water for like 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, that keeps the, the sweetness and the rawness of it, but gets rid of like the really harsh sort of uh, tear inducing qualities. Uh, we have a dill salsa verde, which includes dill, chives, parsley, vinegar, olive oil, and shallot. Also, just for added richness, we have a mustard aioli. Over here, we have our basic dredge. And then right here, of course, is the schnitzel, which is uh, a pork tenderloin that we pounded to about an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, when you pound it that thin, um, you know, you make it super tender uh, and easy to eat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the egg. You just want to make sure that it's totally covered. The egg obviously helps the flour stick to the schnitzel. Um, now that we're into the flour, we're just going to evenly coat the schnitzel with flour. You don't want it to be too thick um, because you know this isn't really about the breading, it's more so about the crisp schnitzel. So now we're bringing the pork over to the oil and you have to be super careful here. Um, you're going to lay it in very, very gently just like so, um, and you're gonna hear it. When it makes that noise, you know that the oil is the right temperature and that the uh, pork is starting to fry. So you're just gonna keep an eye on this. This should only take probably about two minutes on each side. It's been about two minutes, so we're gonna flip it onto the other side. And you'll see that like the exterior of the schnitzel is getting super crisp. Um, now while that's finishing up, we're gonna start building our sandwich. So on the bottom of the bun, uh, we're gonna take this mustard aioli, and we're gonna lay that down, and just sort of spread that on there. On top of the mayo, we're gonna put our roasted peppers, like such. We're gonna pull the schnitzel out, uh, and I'm setting it down right next, right over here to rest, just for a few seconds. All right, the schnitzel is rested. So we're gonna pile that right on the sandwich like so. As it is with a the schnitzel, they're, all, they're very known for being like crazy large. I mean, some can be made you know, as big as a dinner plate, sometimes bigger. So I like on this sandwich that it kind of hangs over. After that, we're gonna put on the, um, the egg. We're gonna pile on these onions. You can put on as much as you like. After that, we're just gonna put a bunch of this salsa verde over top of it. And finally, <clears throat> some of the greens. And then you're gonna lid the sandwich. And there we go. 